Before we enter into the auditorium and the event will kick off. For those who are visiting Landmark University for the first time, For those that are visiting Landmark University for the first time, Landmark University is a world-class university that has a vision to be a leading world-class university by spearheading an agrarian revolution on the African continent through the exploration of hidden treasures in the Mother Earth, thereby restoring the dignity of the black race. That is the vision of our amazing Landmark University. And of course, related to the vision is the mission of this great institution of learning. The mission of Landmark University is built on a tripodal pedestal, which of course include raising a generation of solution providers through a qualitative and life applicable training system that focuses on value and creative knowledge. And then the second pedestal of our mission as a university is to raise a new generation of leaders through a broad-based qualitative education built on sound biblical principles culminating in the birth of breadwinners, job creators, and world changers. And then the last arm of the great mission of this Saturday of Learning is to raise an army of reformers who shall redeem the battered image of the black race and restore her lost glory. As these well-equipped graduates begin to build the old ways, repair the western cities, and raise the desolation of many generations as pathfinders. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the Landmark University Band rendering scintillating melody. The academic procession is coming in, led by the Landmark University Band. Please, the academic uh, procession is coming in. May I request this distinguished audience to stand and remain standing while we receive the academic procession. Please rise and remain standing while we receive the academic procession. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the band is played by the Landmark University Band. Immediately following the band is the leadership of the Student Council, heavily led by its chairman, Ojo Zebulon. The Student Council is led by the chairman, Zablon Ojo. That's the Student Council coming in led by the chairman, Zeblon Nojo. Immediately following the student council members are HOPs, heads of programs of various disciplines in Landmark University.
We also have heads of departments as part of the academic procession. I can see Dr. J. O. J. D. Wrong, head of the Department of Agricultural Engineering. I can see Dr. D. C. Ugro Korea, the head of the Department of Mechanical Engineering. I can see Dr. E. Ben Caleb, the HOD of Accounting and Finance. I can see Dr. Rasak, the HOD of Sociology. I can see Dr. Sunday Eze, the HOD of Business Studies. I can see Dr. Sunday Eze, the HOD of Business Studies. There are also professors as part of the academic procession. I can see Professor Akambe of Agricultural Sciences. I can see Professor S.O. Owa. I can see Professor J.O. Bello. I can see Professor J. Adeni. I can see Professor Ibikule of Electrical Engineering. I can see the Director University wide courses, Dr. Oliori. Ladies and gentlemen, the Chancellor is in the house. The Chancellor and Chairman Board of Regents of Landmark University, Dr. David O. Oerebo, is in the house. Put your hands together. Vice Chancellor, Landmark University, Professor Adeni Olayanju. The Chancellor, sir, may I invite the chaplain, Landmark University, Pastor Tobe Johnson, for the opening prayer. The cha chaplain, sir. The Chancellor, sir, Landmark University, shall we bow our head as we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for this is the day you have made, the day of joy, the day of celebration, indeed. We appreciate your name for choosing this day and bringing it to pass. May your name be exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. We hand over this gathering to you today that you take preeminence by your spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. At the end of this gathering, may we have cause to rejoice and rejoice again. Thank you, mighty God, in Jesus' mighty name. The Chancellor, sir, may I request the Landmark University Band to render the national anthem and thereafter Landmark University anthem, the band.
Please, you may resume your seats. May I establish the protocol for the 10th undergraduate and second postgraduate matriculation ceremony of the amazing Landmark University. The Chancellor and Chairman, Board of Regents, Landmark University, Dr. David O. Oyedebo. The esteemed members of the Boards of Regents of Landmark University here present. The Vice Chancellor, Landmark University, Professor Adeni Olayanju. The Registrar, Landmark University, Ms. Adefunke Oyinloe. Other Principal Officers of Landmark University. Deans of Colleges and the School of Postgraduate Studies. Members of Senate of Landmark University. My Lords, Spiritual and Temporal. Esteemed guests and parents, the matriculating students of Landmark University, members of the fourth estate of the realm, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, you are all welcome to the 10th undergraduate and second postgraduate matriculation ceremony of the amazing Landmark University. The Chancellor, sir, may I at this juncture invite the registrar, Landmark University, Ms. Adefunke Oyinloe. <laughs> Chancellor, sir, kindly permit me to stand on the already established protocol as I heartily and humbly welcome our distinguished parents and guests to our beautiful and serene campus on this auspicious occasion of our first joint matriculation ceremony, which is hosting the 10th and 2nd undergraduate and postgraduate matriculation ceremonies, respectively. As we welcome our esteemed parents today, we also congratulate them for choosing to partner with us in raising for God, an army of solution providers, new generation leaders, and reformers. Our matriculating students were only recently received as boys and girls, established thereafter in royalty as they were coronated kings and queens and will in a not too distant future of four or five years, depending on their course of study, be released as pathfinders, having been already thoroughly furnished as one. Our prayer, therefore, is that God keeps them and causes them to bring everyone only joy all through their stay here at Landmark University. Once again, you are welcome to our amazing Landmark University and to this history-making event. The Chancellor, sir, please permit me at this juncture to respectfully invite the Vice-Chancellor to perform the next assignment. The Vice-Chancellor, sir. Upon the power conferred on me as the Vice Chancellor Landmark University, I respectfully invite the Chancellor to declare the matriculation ceremony open. Shall we all be on our feet as we receive the Chancellor? Chancellor of Landmark University and Chairman Board of Regents, I hereby declare this 11th convocation, or 11th matriculation of Landmark University open. Thank you. You may please be seated. <laughs>
Chancellor, sir. Please, may I respectfully invite the Registrar of Landmark University to take on the next assignment. The Chancellor, sir. May I respectfully invite the Vice Chancellor Landmark University to deliver his address. The Vice Chancellor. Chancellor and Chairman, Board of Regents, Landmark University, sir, Dr. David Oyedepo. The esteemed members of Board of Regents, Landmark University, standing on the existing protocol as already ruled out, may I this morning recognize in addition the principal officers, members of Senate, and Landmark University community, our esteemed guests and parents, the matriculating undergraduate and postgraduate students, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It is with excitement and out of gratitude to God that I welcome you to Landmark University on this unique occasion of matriculation ceremony. Tenth and second of its kind for undergraduate and postgraduate students, respectively. This privilege is what I cherish, and I deeply appreciate the Chancellor and Chairman Board of Regents of this great university, Dr. David Oyedepo, for giving me the platform of service and the university remarkable facilities that have attracted, among others, this new set of fresh students, 838 undergraduates and 65 postgraduates being matriculated today. To God alone be all the glory. We are a university with an audacious vision of spearheading an agrarian revolution on the African continent through the exploration of hidden treasures in the mother earth, thereby restoring the dignity of the black race. It is my pleasure to state that by dint of hard work and ultimate grace of God, Landmark is progressing in leaps and in band, striding forward under the visionary motivation and proprietor-based inspiration to strike the target of global limelight of relevance. Ours is a forward-looking and solution-seeking institution that has the potential to save and improve lives by uniting brilliant minds across discipline to tackle the world's greater challenges. We are committed to raising a generation of great thinkers and global leaders, among whom we be matriculating students of today. The Chancellor, sir, distinguished guests, Ladies and gentlemen, may I adopt a breaking limit testimonial approach to keep our guests more informed about this great university. A proof of our commitment to excellence in service delivery is reflected in the testament of people from all walks of life privileged to have visited and interacted with Landmark as flagged below. It is my great honor to visit Landmark University. I'm very impressed with everything here. Ethan Arbin. Highly impressed with the facilities and equipment, Professor Abdullahi. The environment is clean and tidy, Professor AJ. The university is a first-class university, 
Professor Umfai. I speak on behalf of my team that Landmark University is indeed an amazing university determined to go places in terms of content, cultures, and character development. Professor Israel Fallon Oshaw Adu, I love the environment and the learning capacity of Landmark University that exposes students to both God, the Creator, and their future career. Mrs. Margaret Sibiloye, I am sufficiently satisfied about everything I can see in this school. They are quite amazing. Please sustain the tempo, Mrs. Olufunke Oludiram. Landmark is a remarkable institution, beautiful, well-maintained, courteous students and official, Anoko Odukoya. After spending much of the week on campus, I've come to appreciate the energy and forward-looking spirit driving Landmark toward becoming a world-class institution. The facilities, the farm, the program, and most of all, the people are tremendous. A short visit with the Vice Chancellor is all it takes to fully realize that this university is on a clear path towards greatness. Keep up the fantastic world, and world class status will be yours. Amen. Professor Darren Rolinga, the Executive Director, American Society of Agricultural and Biological Engineers. Finally, I congratulate the Chancellor for this noble idea of a university because it has indeed changed my idea of what Africa is all about. Professor Indra Mani, President, Indian Society of Agricultural Engineers. The Chancellor, sir. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the foregoing is a tip of the iceberg, of the accolade we always receive as a university. Exploit of both faculty and students have continued to elicit recognitions, prizes and awards nationally and internationally. Recently, the landmark engineering team won the first prize in a national engineering student project competition in Abuja. One of our 500 level students King Obasoke Ikowosa, also emerged regional winner, Africa for the Prototypes, contest of international civil aviation organization for tertiary students and researchers across the world. Of course, this outstanding feat is largely attributed to the massive spiritual support and the guidance from the proprietor base. Continuous investment in ultramodern facility development, acquisition of state-of-art laboratory, fast teaching and research and commercial farm, provision of modern teaching aids, impressive e-library facilities, IT infrastructures in classrooms, stable power and internet services, financial support to faculty on conferences, and of course, publications, scholarship for students of agricultural programs. It is from this premise of revelation and assurance of me immense possibilities and wonderful opportunities in Landmark Uni University for students to achieve their dream that I heartily welcome our freshmen at the undergraduate and the postgraduate level to this matriculation ceremony a fulfillment of academic rite of passage into official membership of our amazing community of intellectuals that are determined to impart the society. May I stress, therefore, that this is not a wishful thinking, but a purposeful thought converted to productive actions as allowed by the golden rules guiding the conduct of faculty, staff, and students. Sorry for that. A 
It is important for our freshmen to engage in robust interactions with their colleagues and faculty, as it is expected that they will work together in unity and love to chart a new path and take the reins of redemptive leadership the societies are waiting for. With your fulfillment of financial obligation, academic expectations, and alignment with the core values of this great university that pride ourselves in stable academic calendar, you can be rest assured of breaking new ground upon graduation in 2023 or 2024, depending on the duration of your undergraduate course of study, and of course, in two years for the postgraduate student. I appreciate all our landmark university partners and stakeholders for gracing this occasion with their distinguished presence. I'm therefore grateful to our royal father, the Olomo of Umaro, Oba Abdurrahim Adeoti, his council, and the good people of Omaran community for fostering a peaceful ambience for the development of this great university. My special thanks goes to the entire Living Faith Church members for their own quantifiable support. I'm grateful to the Board of Regents. Of course, we are grateful to our mama, the Vice President of Education Living Faith Church Worldwide, Pastor Mrs. Faith Oyedepo. And to the Chancellor, Landmark University, Dr. Oyedeko, for your inspiring leadership guide. May God continue to strengthen you in Jesus' mighty name. Above all, our profound gratitude goes to God Almighty for his faithfulness over Landmark University. We therefore wish ourselves a limit-breaking experience in Jesus' mighty name. Once again, on behalf of our committed management, our dedicated faculty, our ever-supportive staff, and our royal students, I welcome you all to our amazing landmark university. Even as I say, come down with us, and we will do you good, for the Lord has spoken good concerning us. Thank you for finding time to be with us, and God bless you. Hello, sir. It is my privilege this morning to invite to the podium the Registrar Landmark University, Ms. Olini Loye, for the next assignment. The Registrar, ma'am. The Chancellor, sir. We will be taking the matriculation covenant. And so may I request all undergraduate matriculating students to stand and remain standing as they take the matriculation covenant. You shall repeat after me. I, I, with your name, I, I, a student of your college, in the department of, with registration number, fully recognize the landmark university founded on the authority of the word of God, the Bible. And anchored on the philosophy which espouses a radical departure from form to skill, knowledge to empowerment, figures to future building, Legalism to realism, points to facts, mathematics to life matics, 
having an avowed objective of raising a new generation of global leaders and aiming at de developing the total man through capacity building and leadership development, as well as being committed to raising a generation of solution providers, leaders and an army of reformers who shall redeem the battered image of the black race through a qualitative and life applicable training system as pathfinders. Now having this understanding in view, I hereby humbly covenant and pledge my personal commitment to one, wholeheartedly subscribe to the vision and mission of Landmark University which principally seeks to prepare me for a meaningful future. Two, adhere strictly to the rules and regulations contained in the student handbook. Three, attend all lectures, sit for all required practicals, test examinations, and undertake research projects as it may be prescribed from time to time. Four, participate in all university prescribed sporting activities and other community service programs. Five, be present at every university assembly put in place to build me spiritually, academically, and physically. Six, remain committed to the principles of the scriptures, the Bible, in order to remain vibrant in my spiritual life. Seven, remain in my program of study unless advised to change to another by the university authority on account of poor academic standing or other exigences. And eight, abide by the rules and regulations that may from time to time be adopted by the university authority. It is with an understanding of the above that I append my signature to this matriculation covenant to authenticate my commitment this 15th day of November in the year 2019. You may go ahead to append your signature. And thereafter, take your seat. The Chancellor, sir. May I request all postgraduate matriculating students to stand and remain standing as they take the matriculation covenant. You shall all repeat after me. I, a postgraduate student of Landmark University in the department of, with registration number, I've entered into academic training in pursuit of new knowledge 
as a member of the community of postgraduate students in Landmark University. I know that Landmark University is founded on the authority of the word of God, the Bible. And anchored on the philosophy which espouses a radical departure from form to skill, knowledge to empowerment, figures to future building, legalism to realism, points to facts, mathematics to life mathematics. With an avowed objective of raising a new generation of leaders through qualitative, life applicable training system and developing the total man who shall redeem the battered image of the black race. I therefore covenant and pledge to all utterly subscribe to the vision and mission of Landmark in research and training, rules and regulations, the university core values of spirituality, integrity, possibility mentality, capacity building, responsibility, diligence, and sacrifice to uphold professionalism and scholarship. Integrity. I will uphold academic and scientific honesty and uprightness. I will responsibly carry out the objectives in ethical innovations in research. I will embrace righteousness, not influenced by financial gain. Competition or personal ambition in the conduct of scholastic research. Professionalism. I will share knowledge and resources originating from my research within the limits of intellectual property agreements and contribute to the public understanding of the societal impact of my results. I will curtail the risk posed by my research on people animals and the natural world, scholarship. I will report accurate results regardless of the expectations of myself, my sponsors, and the scientific community in pursuance of lifelong learning. I will mentor and instruct the next generation of pathfinder, scientists, and researchers as a plan to fulfill my obligations. It is with the understanding of the above that I append my signature thoughts to this matriculation covenant to authenticate my commitment this 15th day of November in the year 2019. You can go ahead and please append your signature and please keep standing. May I request all the undergraduate and post undergraduate matriculants to stand and remain standing. All undergraduate matriculants to stand and remain standing. The Chancellor, sir, may I respectfully invite the Vice Chancellor to perform the next assignment. The Vice Chancellor, sir.
I humbly invite the Chancellor to admit all matriculating undergraduate and postgraduate students to the university. Upon the powers conferred on me as the Chancellor of Landmark University, I'm based on your understanding of the matriculation covenant you have just subscribed to by appending your signature, I hereby admit you all into the Landmark University community. You may all be seated. The Chancellor, sir, at this juncture, kindly permit me to call the following undergraduate and postgraduate students we will sign the matriculation register to perform the next assignment. The undergraduate students first, representing the College of Agricultural Sciences, we have Oye Wale Oluwa Lonimi, please step out quickly, and Wigwe Glory Chigo Zileme, Chigo Zileme, representing the College of Business and Social Sciences, Okoro Makachuku, and Adegbola Boluatife. Please step out quickly. Okoro Makachuku and Adegbola Boluatife, College of Business and Social Sciences, representing the College of Engineering, Daniel Chukuweke Chukwemeka and Fasoroti Tefeolua. And representing the College of Pure and Applied Sciences, Enuma Mesoma, and Egba Godsono Akam. Please step out quickly to sign the ceremonial register. Representing the postgraduate students for the College of Engineering, Ajani David Okbayemi, <laughs> College of Agricultural Sciences, Sholaja Shodikbe Okbayemi, <laughs> College of Pure and Applied Sciences, Tokula Blessings, and Yojo. And for the College of Business and Social Sciences, Adams Collins. The Chancellor, sir, may I respectfully call upon the Vice Chancellor to perform the next assignment. The Vice Chancellor.
Shall we all rise as I humbly invite the Chancellor to give his address? seated. Once again, it's my joy to welcome all of us to this very special occasion of the 10th matriculation ceremony of Landmark University. and to especially welcome our fresh men and women to a new experience at Landmark University. I pray you have a most adventurous time here on this campus. And I pray that we all finish your course in flying colors. I pray that none of your parents or guardians who have occasion to sorrow on you. Amen. I pray you not only earn a degree from here, you depart from here with assets that money cannot buy. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. While standing on all the established protocols, I'd like to especially recognize the Olum of Umana, our royal father, for being here this morning and the members of the Lumen Council for your continuous partnership and support for this university. May the Lord bless you all. Amen. I think that they have said almost everything that I want to say. But because I'm asked to say something, I've titled my speech on this 10 matriculation ceremony, what is unique about Landmark University? Albert Easton, one of the greatest scientists that ever lived, once observed, to create the future, we will need a huge shift in thinking, values, and action. Another definition of insanity is doing the same thing the same way and expect a different result. That our university system vowed to embark on a radical departure on the regimental system of education that our nation in particular has lived under for many years. Every engineering-based invention requires a mold for production. Anyone that does not celebrate the mold cannot have his desired product. That's what we've tried to do at Landmark University, to create a mold of training that defines the outcome of the training. We have engaged a mode of training here at Landmark University that works. A university that will have an undergraduate student sponsoring other undergraduate students at the same time. <laughs> if you need something, like I once told some organization, and it's not available, it is wisdom to create it. Otherwise, we'll never have it. You need it, you can't find it, and you just must have it. If you must have it, then you have to create it. That's what we have done at Landmark University, to create what is needed. Everybody knows it's needed, but nobody's bothered about how to get at it. And the only way to get what you need when you can't find it is to create it. This mode or model of training 
has proved to work. Our products, that is our graduates, are making rounds wherever they are found today, showcasing the validity of our mode of training. First, this mode has its foundation in our well-defined mandate. There is something we are driving at as a university. And that is to raise a new generation of leaders. You can't use an old approach to raise the new. Like begets like. So we have to create a new approach in order to have a new generation of leaders. We are all aware our country is bereaved of leadership at all levels. Sense of values have been eroded. Self has occupied the central part of most people's heart. And so service to humanity is down to zero. That's why we exist. Today is an integration of leaders through a qualitative and life applicable training system that focuses on value and skill development. So you don't have to look for what to steal. You have developed capacity not only to make a living, but to be committed to make others live. Number two is to raise an integration of leaders through a broad based qualitative education built on sound biblical principles culminating in the birth of pathfinders, pace setters, and trailblazers. And number three of our threefold mandate is to raise an generation of leaders who shall redeem the battered image of the black race as never do wells, as beggars, and restore her lost glory as this trained army of reformers begin to build the old waste, repair the wasted cities, and raise the desolation of many generations. That defines our purpose of existence, is to bring the new out of the old, so as to keep life going, and make us relevant to the world in which we live. This threefold mandate is powered by our core values. You have a mission. It's important to know how to deliver the mission. And to deliver this mission, we identify seven key missing things today that need to be brought back. One, spirituality. There is nothing like the fear of God in being fear to mankind. Without the fear of God, you are never fair to your neighbor. You are never fair to your neighbor. Spirituality means, here means living by the fear of God so you can be fair to your neighbors and not take wicked advantage of them. As I listened to or read again the letters of our national anthem, I felt very deeply sorry for our nation. We are living exactly contrary to the letters and the spirit of God. Justice and peace. What? You read each of those lines and you wonder, did we write this and are we singing it? What are we really singing? Almost every statement there in that anthem has been grossly violated by the people who authenticated that we should keep singing them. So we are singing vanity. Check those things. They are genuine. They are the way we should live, but are we living that way? I can ask you a simple question. Is there justice here? But Nigeria will be restored. Yeah. The glory and color, freedom. We seek freedom. 
and we put ourselves in bandage. We recognize spirituality as, a, as an asset of a nestable government. Let me tell you something. You can't be unfair to men today and not pay for it tomorrow. Let hands be joined together, the wicked shall not go unpunished. I pray that the fear of God will dominate our country afresh. Yeah. And that at all levels. Yeah. Spirituality is profitable unto all things. And to be spiritually minded is peace. We promote that. Possibility mentality. Here at Landmark University, we believe that possibility mentality is key to a world of unlimited accomplishment. That no one ever arrives at a future that he cannot see and prepared for. Capacity building. Henry Ford, one of those great American presidents, said, When you stop learning, you start dying. Whether at 20 or at 80, and when you keep learning, you are young. Whether at 80 or at 20. Here at Landmark University, we believe that the largest room in the world is a room for improvement. Also, that excellence is the product of one's tireless commitment to improvement. So we don't graduate from learning. We may graduate from school, but learning continues. Next to capacity building, we have integrity. Here we believe that whatever fit capacity may accomplish, it takes integrity to preserve it. For instance, at Landmark University, among others, examination malpractice is considered a capital offense, and every perpetrator automatically loses his or her place in the university. For all our undergraduate matriculants of today or matriculated students, please know exam malpractice is a proof of laziness, indiscipline, and lack of committed commitment to value. One automatically loses his place when caught. Responsibility, another core value of this university is all about efficient safe time, task, and resource management. According to George Washington, discipline is the soul of an army. It makes more numbers formidable. Chaos success to the weak and esteem to all. We believe that it takes high-level discipline to fully deliver any given task and be accomplished in the race of life. There is no free launch in life. Diligence. Here we believe that every accomplishment is at the cost of commitment and that every high flyer is known to be a hard worker that no one ever gets out of life more than what he's willing to put into it. Sacrifice, the last one. Here at Landmark University, we believe that there is nothing extraordinary on its own. It is one's extraordinary input that makes it so. Get ready to pay the extra price. You want extraordinary result, get ready to pay the extra price. That no what change around a normal schedule. That there is no star without a scar, and that the scar of every star is sacrifice. With this core values at work in anybody, is said to remain rele relevant for life and leave footprints behind for his generations after him. Our third approach to delivering our mandate is prepared by our founding philosophy. That has been said over and again. This philosophy espouses, espouses a radical departure from that traditional mode, and it postulates a departure from form to skill, a departure from knowledge to empower. You don't just go to school, download, cram, and walk away. You are empowered to make meaningful impact in your field. A departure from figures to future building. 
a departure from legalism to realism, a departure from points of fact, a departure from mathematics to life matics. What we are saying is that we are teaching you, teaching our students about how to make the most of their life. Not just with papers in their hand that have no value. But I've developed high level values during their stay here and could now get that across to others around them. The fourth is our anchor vision at Landmark University. And what is that vision? The vision of Landmark University is to raise highly skilled and productive graduates who will drive food security solutions for our nation and continent, among others. Here, our emphasis and commitment to promote a man child model of education that is, making men out of children. You'll be surprised after the first, second, third semester that the baby you sent here has suddenly become a man. That the baby you sent here has suddenly become a woman. That's our commitment. And this we channel through our diverse custom built programs which include the total man concept entrepreneurial studies towards a total graduate and agripreneurship which is core because everybody who knows how to eat should learn how to farm in case importation is banned and now we eat about 75% what we eat is about 70% is imported. If there is any crisis at any time and importation stops, hunger will strike, a whole generation can be wiped off. So all we're doing is trying to give a taste of agricultural practice to everyone that comes through Landmark University. And that's what we are doing. The thrust of this program is to raise an army of value-adding giants. You are looking for a job that does not exist, so when are you going to get it? Men and women in pursuit of vision, driving with unquenchable passion, commanding exploits in every direction, are people to be envied, set to take the world by storm. And that will require that they are equipped in a different way. Finally, we are committed to leading an agrarian revolution as a university. Our innovative approach in leading an agrarian revolution as a university is evident across board. Here at Landmark University, all our undergraduate students in every department are made to go through a diploma program in agripreneurship during their course of study. So whether you are doing uh, petroleum engineering, chemical, whatever, because you can't eat petrol, you can't eat petrol. You need to eat food. You are doing computer science, there is no software for hunger. You don't eat, you're on your way out. That's why we are committed to giving everybody the opportunity. You have come to Landmark University with an avowed mandate to drive an agrarian revolution. You must have a taste of a Greek. And how that is being applauded around the world today. It's common knowledge that food security is a global concern today and we in this part of the world that the was hit. There is no substitute for food as far as human existence is concerned. There is no software for addressing hunger. No matter the state of the economy of any nation, the last thing to remove from the national budget is food. You can't. You can wait to buy a cloth, you can't wait to eat. No matter how much you want to be here, if you have not eaten for the last 20 days, you won't come. There is no way to come. Food will never lose value until our adventure on earth is over. With the massive arable land available to us as a nation, hunger is obviously an insult to our intelligence. Hunger is an insult to our intelligence as a nation. As man cannot survive without oxygen, in the same vein, no mortal man can survive without food. There is nothing that challenges human dignity like lack of food. Somebody in Oshogo sometimes 
last year or two years ago, went to the market to steal. When they were beating him, say, I have nothing to give my children to eat. I've never stolen in my life. They left him. And everybody started, so, you know, donating food to him. He is never, but when he saw children are crying at home, he left and said they will soon come back and they will soon eat. He saw the market and just ran there. Carry, carry, carry rice and was running away. <laughs> Nothing erodes human dignity like hunger. Please watch. All those fellows on the street, nobody wants to be on the street begging. Nobody, nobody, nobody wants to be called a beggar. But when hunger strikes, what you don't want to do in your life, you start doing it. That's why we must build a defense against the assault of hunger as a people. As we round up, the greatest threat to the survival of this continent today is the worsening food crisis, which has the potential to wipe off a whole generation of people. God forbid. If we must survive as a people in the face of impending global food crisis, we must learn to engage in intensive agricultural endeavors. Farming is the only cure for farming. A recent record shows that over a billion people on the earth are suffering from starvation, hunger, and malnutrition around the world. A billion. The number one purpose for setting up a landmark university is to help young people see the great opportunity that agricultural practice and agropreneurship offers. Landmark University is committed to a new approach to leading an agrarian revolution by encouraging everyone who knows how to eat to learn how to farm. I was in um, Mauritius many years ago Mauritius well, is a very tiny nation, and then, um, they happen to be the largest exporter of sugar. Everywhere in Mauritius, sugar cane. Flower beds, sugar cane. Every home, sugar cane. They had rain only six months in the year, and six months, no rain. So they have great underground tanks all across, so that during the rainy season, the rain goes into those tanks, and during the dry season, they water their uh, sugarcane plantation with the water. Nothing is wasted. Water from the street goes down the drain into the tank. Rain from heaven comes down from wherever it is and goes down to where it is. They became the largest sugar exporter in the world. You know St. Louis? Yes, that's where it comes from. May that time come speedily in our country where every space will be utilized for productive and valuable endeavors. And what a joy, Covenant University, I mean, a Landmark University is now engaging in soilless agriculture. That is, you don't need soil, you can, you can plant something from your third floor, the fourth floor, and have your vegetable and have everything out there. Whatever you input into this food market, into this food bank, is giving somebody as an opportunity to have access to what he needs. As we may I admonish all our matric matriculants today to see diverse opportunities Landmark University offers to enhance their capacity for experience in life through our mode of education and take full advantage of the same. May I also, in conclusion, congratulate all our parents and guardians of the matriculants today because you have chosen to give your sons, daughters, and our world access to the best form of education available in this country today. My prayer is that no one here will ever regret his investment. Once again, congratulations, and God bless you.
Please, you may resume your seats. The Chancellor, sir, may I respectfully invite the Registrar, Landmark University, Ms. Adefunke Oyinloye, to take the goodwill messages. The Chancellor, sir. Before we take the goodwill messages, kindly permit me to recognize some of the dignitaries here today. We recognize the Olomo of Omoaro, Oba Abdurrahim Oladele Adeoti, and his Olomo in council. The unit commander, Omoaro Federal Road Safety Corps, the area commander, Omoaro Nigeria Police, ACC Odenero Esther, NSCDC Area C Omoaro, Brigadier General B.A. Isando from the Army Headquarters Abuja, Dr. Taiwo Jones from FMC Lokoja, ACC Odenero Esther, Reverend Mrs. Adedeji Awe, Pastor Akonde A. Israel, Pastor B.C. Wale, Dr. Confidence D.K., Engineer Mrs. Afolabi Adegon, Engineer Amadi Ali, Pastor Oluwali Olaoye, Pastor Bonnie Noyelu, Pastor Arigbede Adebayo, Dr. Ekenade, Architect and Barista Mrs. Nwango, Pastor Akinshete, and Mrs. Awulola Oluwakemi. You are welcome. The Chancellor, sir, at this point, we will take the goodwill messages as will be given by Professor Aki Adesheinwa and Mrs. Enobong Eyo. Please quickly approach the podium. Professor Aki Adesheinwa and Mrs. Enobong Eyo. The Chancellor and the Chairman Board of Regents, Dr. David Oyedepo, the Board of Regents, the Vice Chancellor, the Registrar, and all other protocols duly observed. It is my pleasure to deliver the goodwill message on behalf of the parents of the 10th matriculating undergraduate student and the second matriculating student for the postgraduate on this 15th day, November 2019. We are proud to be associated with this great university on, on this landmarking occasion. In our lives as parents of these potential kings and queens, we congratulate the Chancellor, Bishop David Oyedepo, the Vice President Education, Pastor Mrs. Faith Oyedepo, the Vice Chancellor, his management team, and all members of the university community for granting our children the opportunity to be trained here and for parents to witness this special day in our lives. My tour of the campus some years back afforded me the opportunity of having my first hand feel of the exceptional values built in and displayed by the students. You can't pass by any of the students in this university without them greeting you. 
it's one of the core values that we have lost in our nation. As well as the outstanding facilities God has made available for their training in the university. During my time of visit, I saw some of these facilities. Incidentally, I work in Obafemi Awolo University. I saw facilities that we don't have in the laboratories here in the university. I concluded within me then that God will grant me the opportunity for my child to be a beneficiary. So today, for me personally, and many others like me, it's a dream come true and fulfillment of God's promise. It is therefore our prayer that God will continue to move this great faith-based university to greater heights. We celebrate the grace of God over the life of the Chancellor and the Vice President of Education for continually investing in building and transformation of lives. This is no doubt another milestone in the lives of our children in the journey of life. And we trust God to use this institution and the staff to model these young leaders after the pattern God promised for their lives. Once again, on behalf of the parents, I and my wife, Dr. Mrs. Nyinka Adesainwa, who is also present here, congratulate the visioner and the managers of Landmark University Omoano for this great feat being celebrated today. Long live Landmark. Mrs. Enobong Eyo. Thank you very much. Mr. Chairman, sir, please permit me to stand on existing protocol. Um, my name is Mrs. Enobong Eyo from Akwaibom. I am a proud parent of um, one of the matriculating students and I'm here to congratulate the management of this great institution for the privilege they have given to people like us because I have always wanted my children to come to this school but the first one didn't come and then God made it possible the second one came. So I'm very grateful for this opportunity. I came here yesterday and to my greatest surprise what I saw was more than what we were told. And I'm very grateful that we are part of this historic event today. And I'd like to congratulate the matriculating students and the leadership and management of this school. We pray that God will continue to give them the wisdom and God will help them to go forward in Jesus' name. I have always wanted a school where we could get the total man concept because it is important for the next generation to be fully equipped not just academically, but spiritually, socially, and then to develop entrepreneurial skills. I have relatives who have passed through this school, and I am so impressed in what they have turned out to be. One of them came out looking for a job, and before we knew it, she started creating something to do. That was what also really encouraged me. I said, ah, she stands up in the night to pray. She doesn't go to the father, oh, I'm scared. She takes authority, and I'm very grateful that today I am part of this historic event. I say, may the Lord bless and keep all of us in Jesus' name. I'd like to invite to the podium Director Luke Reed, Landmark University, Dr. Professor Babatunde Adebesi, for the vote of thanks. The Chancellor, sir, permit me to stand on existing protocols as uh, I will be giving the vote of thanks. I will start by thanking God Almighty, the giver of life, who makes everything beautiful in his own time. It is only him who could have brought together this event and the galaxy of personalities gathered here today. To him 
alone will return all the praise. To the Chancellor and Chairman Board of Regents, Dr. David Oyedepo, how do we begin to acknowledge your fatherly place and role in the great event of today through the leadership you provided in establishing this great citadel of learning? Or how do we express our gratitude for the life-changing endowment of scholarships in millions of Naira through David Oyedepo Foundation to some categories of students in the university? To the Living Faith Church Worldwide, the proprietor of the university, thank you for providing the platform for the manifestation of the glorious destinies of these young ones we celebrate today. You have created a convenient teaching and learning environment through your massive deployment of physical, material, and financial resources, the evidence of which dots the entire university landscape. And to the members, Board of Regents, here in present, we appreciate the hand of God over your lives. To all our invited guests and personalities, I say, you're welcome. To the members of management, members of Senate, faculty and staff, who are playing the in local parentis role over these children since their resumption, we thank you for your resilience, dedication, and commitment to duty. May the good Lord reward you bountifully. As a university, we have been blessed with a wonderful host community under His Royal Majesty, the Olomu of Omoara, Oba Abdurrahim, Oladele Adeoti, Akolade Agbolu Aje Ilufe Miloye, Olomu F2. We thank His Royal Majesty the entire Olomo in Council, and indeed, every traditional ruler present here today for their positive disposition to the university at all times. We say thank you, sir. The security and the paramilitary personnel, you are appreciated. And to our esteemed parents and guardians who have entrusted these precious gifts, matriculating today to us, and we want to assure you that you will not be disappointed. We salute your courage and believe in your capacity to manage the lives of these precious ones. We congratulate you on your worthy investment in the future of these precious ones who will be transformed to pathfinders. In the next four to five years, as the case may be, our prayer is that you will live to reap the fruits of your labor. I would also like to appreciate the fourth state of the realm for their presence there. We are appreciated. And finally, to our newly matriculated students, both the postgraduate and the undergraduates, I congratulate you. Thank you and God bless. The Chancellor, sir, may I respectfully invite the Vice Chancellor, Landmark University. Professor Adeni Olayanju to perform the next assignment. The Vice Chancellor, sir. What a joy. What a day. And so, with a heart full of joy, shall we all rise as I invite the Chancellor to declare the matriculation ceremony closed and declare the blessings of a father on all of us. Are the parents and guardians here excited today? Please give the Lord a big hand of praise. Amen. By the past conferred on me, I hereby declared this 10th matriculation ceremony closed. Amen. And I want to assure all 
the parents of this matriculated student, none of you will bury your children. None of you will know the burying place of your children. You give them to us life, they are returning back to you with greater life. You give them to us whole, none of them will return with missing parts. The joy of today, I pray, will be a joy for life. Amen. You will all eat the fruits of your labor. Amen. These young ones will do you honor. Amen. They will not bring shame and reproach to you and your family. They will do great things in your lifetime. Amen. They will touch many lives in your own lifetime. Amen. All this, your children will be far greater than you. Amen. Wherever you may reach by grace, they will exceed such levels. Amen. Father, I pray that every statement made at this time over our parents and guardians, the parents and guardians of these precious, freshers, will come to pass with speed. Yeah. And I pray over these young ones for grace, grace for excellence in your studies. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. The investment of your parents and guardians over you shall not be wasted. I pray that none of you will have any reason to repeat any class. And I pray for safety for you in your going in and out throughout your course of study here. Amen. No one is permitted to be kidnapped. Amen. No accident is permitted on your way. Amen. You are on the road, the journey is declared safe. Amen. You are in the air, your plane will not crash. Amen. You are on the water, you will not capsize. Amen. I pray that every step of your life, all through your course here and beyond, shall be divinely guided. Amen. And at the same time, I'm praying over all our faculty, management, members of the Senate, everyone that is a part of adding value to this individual's life, I pray that your lives will never lose value. Amen. As you are adding color to the children of others, God will set people in place to add color to your own children. Amen. I pray that every of your today will come down with rewards tomorrow. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, and I thank you, Lord, for the peace in this city. Thank you for the peace that reigns here. Thank you for bringing an end to every assault of robbers. Thank you for establishing your peace around the nook and cranny of this town. Receive our thanks in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that this peace will be sustained. We shall not know set back anymore. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Now I pray that everyone here will leave this place with a burning vision. Yeah. Before your course is over, you have caught a vision that is well defined for your life. Yeah. And I pray that each of you will locate where you belong while you are still here. Yeah. And it will show in your life all through the days of your life. Amen. And so shall it be. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Well, we acknowledge everything we see on this ground as your grace. This is not us. It is you at work. It's marvelous because it's your doing. Lord, 
acknowledge and receive our thanks today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Now I pray for peaceful journey back to our respective places. There shall be no evil tidings. There shall be no evil reports. Each one will arrive home safely. And the glory will be to our God. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Just before we round up, some fellows came into our system. They are said to be average or below average. And suddenly, first class. Things just turn as they come into this environment. Um, any of you that is in any class that is not your desire and your wish, God will change it here. Yeah. God will change it here. Yeah. Anything we ask you to do here is to help create the future you desire. So embrace it. Embrace it. You came here to attend lectures, so why should they be running after you to attend lectures? And here at Landmark, if you don't meet the required percentage of attendance, you can't write exams. You cannot write exams. Please know that your parents have done all they can do. Let none of them regret over you. Be where you should be. Do what you should be doing. And go beyond being diligent. Go to the realm of sacrifice. The best thing will come out and you'll be glad you are lying. Once again, you are welcome to this um, royal academy where you are not permitted to do what you like but what is right. You are only permitted to do what is right here, not what you like. Please align. You'll be glad you did. When anybody is able to say he lacks home training, we have come to join hands with your parents to help consolidate your training, your upbringing, so that tomorrow you are not crying. You are just triumphant. And that will be your experience. That will be your experience. Once again, congratulations. And our PG matriculated students, you are in the best place to exercise your research capabilities because there is no courtism, there is no fear. You can be in your place at any time and live free and work hard. And that's how life is made. All high flyers in life are hard workers. Talk, 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 don't add value. Get down. Define why you are here and pursue it. You'll be glad you did. The good news is everything here works. May everything keep working for you while you are here. And after you are out of here, it will still be working. Be blessed. Shall we share the goodness together, everybody? Surely. Goodness, a message shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. The Chancellor, sir, may I invite the Landmark University Band first to render Landmark University Anthem and then finally National Anthem.
May I request this distinguished assembly to remain standing while the academic procession exits from the auditorium. The procession will be in reverse order. The mace bearer will lead the chancellor and other management, members of management. And thereafter, members of Senate will follow suit. Please remain standing. Music, please. Yeah. 